Now listen, chaps, I know this is going to be hard for you to take on as advice because most of you don't want to hear this kind of advice because it's hard line, it's hard line for you to accept this shit. Most of you are over pursuing women. You are too desperate. You're sending too many messages. You're the one who's always initiating conversation. That's a problem. When you're the one who's always initiating, this could be a few weeks into dating, a few months into dating. At the beginning, I understand that you, you are pursuing because you're setting up dates with her and it's usually the man who's setting up the dates to begin with. And that's understandable. Once you get into or get close to a relationship or you're dating a month or two now or a few weeks or you're three or four dates in and you're the one who initiates conversation every time, she's going to start losing attraction to you because you're now not pursuing, you're chasing, okay? You're literally chasing her like a cat would chase a mouse around a house. And that's unattractive to women. Women actually want to be the ones who reach out to you most of the time. They want to feel like you're the prize. They want to feel like they're chasing you. They want to feel like they, they don't want to lose you, you know, because you have other options. You're indifferent. You're not always messaging her. You've got stuff to do in your life. You're busy. You've got things going on. You're not up her ass all the time. I have this instance now and I do these videos because I live this life. I'm constantly dating beautiful women. I'm sleeping around with different women all the time, different beautiful women in different countries, wherever I go. I mean, I've been traveling the world for 10 years. I'm a businessman and I can go anywhere I want, right? My business is online, so I can travel to any country in the world. So I understand different women's natures in different countries, right? This isn't just like, oh, I'm talking about America or the UK. No, man, I go everywhere. And so what I've learned is that women are the same everywhere you go. They have the same sort of nature. And so I'm just drinking my English cup of tea here. Mm. Earl Grey tea, in fact, I found Earl Grey tea in Cyprus. How good is that? So what you're doing and the mistake you're making is that you're constantly reaching out. Now, I have a situation now where, you know, I do like a couple of girls, one in particular, and... I haven't felt that the the attention has been reciprocated back in my direction, okay? Like, she stopped initiating conversation. It was me initiating the conversation all the time. She's sort of backed away now. I don't hear from her as much. It seems like she's gone a bit cold. Um, we did speak on the phone and we discussed a few things and she, she said that she was having um, a, a difficult time in her life. And I was like, okay, fair enough. Um, cool, so I'll have to sort of leave you to it, you know? It, it, just because someone's having a difficult time in their life. I mean, she's not my girlfriend, right? She's someone I'm I'm dating. And if someone's, you know, if someone sort of says like, I'm having a difficult time or or a woman it gets cold or starts like creating some space from you, that is not the point for you to be pushing and pursuing and chasing and messaging. Hey, how's it going? Just wanted to check up on you. Check up on you for what, right? Some people will be like, Oh yeah, you should find out how she's doing. She wants you to she wants you to chase her. Yeah, she wants you to chase her, but that's not what she needs. Right? What she needs and what she wants are two very different things. You should not be chasing her. What you should be doing is giving space. Do you know how important it is to be patient as a man and to give space and to step back and to review your other options and to create other options as well? Because you as a desirable man should have multiple options, right? I have plenty of women that I could speak to and reach out to, but there was just this one that I liked in particular. Okay, I liked one more than I liked the others. It was as simple as that. But now I realize, okay, I need to go out there now and find another one that I like just as much and then build on a dating life with her because the last one disappointed me, okay? And that's just how it works with men. If one disappoints you or one gets cold and a bit slow to respond and dismisses you, you know, you can tell when a woman's gone cold towards you. Don't keep pushing it. You will lose the battle if you keep pushing it. You must give some space. You must be patient. And if anything, right, give it time until you send your next message. At least one week, 10 days, two weeks. Just give it, give it space. Many will say, oh, she'll forget about you if you, if, you, if you wait a week or two. That's just too long to wait. 
That's bullshit. If you chase, you will lose the game, okay? Because needy and desperate behavior is the worst possible behavior that you can portray to a woman. Needy and desperate behavior is the worst possible trait in a man. No woman on this planet wants a desperate guy who's needy, who's chasing her, who doesn't really have any other options, who loves her and only her and, has, and does nothing else all day long. Do you know how weak that sounds? Do you know how terrible that sounds? So you know, I hope you learned something from this video. I know it's very hard to take on this sort of advice and I've had to I've had to take on this advice my whole life and I know how difficult it is to take this on. It's heartbreaking when you really want to reach out to someone and you love them and or you really like them and you're like, oh, I really want to reach out to them. I really want to see how they're doing. If they've been cold and dismissive and they've been stepping away from you, then it's time for you to step back. It's time for you to focus back on your life. It's time for you to find another amazing woman that you, and, and there are so many amazing women out there. So many, so many other fish in the sea. Learn how to develop your game increase your confidence, go to the gym, talk to other women in different situations, you know, improve your dating profile online and create options, man. Create a pipeline of beautiful women. That's what women want to compete for a man. They want to know that you've got a bunch of other beautiful women on your case and they have to compete to win, right? And to be on, on the leaderboard. And then when you choose them, they're like, yes, I've beaten all the other women. I have got the prize because you are supposed to be the prize. You're not supposed to be like, oh, okay, like I guess he chased me this whole time and I just, I just kind of went for it because he was the only guy that was around. You don't want to be that person in that scenario. So I hope this has been helpful. Don't pursue, do what I'm doing. I'm currently in this situation. I will document the things that happen in my life anonymously. I'll never document the women or the people that I'm talking about in my videos. I will only ever um, speak about them anonymously. And hopefully they're not watching these videos. If they are, who cares anyway? Whatever, this is just what's happening in my life. And I think it's useful for others to, to hear about this sort of information. So don't pursue, don't over chase. You have to let go at times and you have to know when to walk away for now. Walking away doesn't mean you're walking away forever. It just means you're walking away for now and you're giving the relationship or the dating or whatever the situation, time and space to redevelop, okay? You can redevelop these things from the ground up at a later stage. It doesn't have to be, oh, I've got to keep up the momentum. I've got to keep up the momentum with this girl. Oh my God, we've been on dates and now she's gone cold on me, but I've got to, I've got to keep up and get her another date as soon as possible. No, you don't, because that's not going to work and she'll, she'll, she'll feel the pressure. And the last thing women want in their life is pressure. So learn to walk away, learn to step back, learn to create space. And then you can re-engage in conversation once enough time has gone by or until she contacts you. Hope this has been helpful.